Hello and congratulations to this video course on how to boost your engagement in your WordPress site. This is video number one, the introduction. So once you have gotten people to your website, then you need to keep them there. So if you think about it, you work really hard to do traffic generation, social media, search engine ranking, you get them to your website and they leave and you don't know why. You might have some content, but you don't know why they're not interacting. You don't know why they're not commenting and all that. So engagement is crucial because the more you can get people to engage with your website, the more they will grow closer to knowing you, to liking you, and ultimately trusting you. Once you get all this figure out and you get the engagement, then you can turn them into visitors into subscribers and build your email list. So that's essentially the ultimate goal here because once you get them onto your email list, then you can build a further relationship. And then of course you can sell your products and your services. So the big question is how, how do you get them to stay on your website and get fully engaged? Well, First things first, the way we've laid this video course out is to make sure that the speed of your website is fast because a lot of times people overlook this factor and they go straight to the engagement plugins or they go to straight to the content and they don't know why people leave. Well, if you think about the root cause of it all is because the speed of your site needs to be fast and that's kind of a no brainer. So attention spans are getting shorter and shorter. And that is why you need to look at that first. So once you've gotten their attention, you got to keep them engaged, which is the key. So in video number two, we're going to talk about how you can learn how to test the spot. In video number two, you'll learn how to test your speed of your WordPress site, because obviously before you need to speed it up, you need to know what your status is. So if you happen to test the speed of the site and it happens to be a big A+, plus, then you're good to go. You don't have to do anything. But of course, on the other side, if you find out that it's an F or D, you need to move it up a few letters up to A or B or C. If C has the max, but you generally speaking, you want to do A or B. And you'll see what I mean in just a second when we test it out in video number two. And of course, video number three, we'll talk about once you know your speed, how do you actually speed it up? Well, there are two factors here. There are plugins and then there are the way that your web hosting company has set your server up for your WordPress site. Get more into that later on. But the general idea is that there's certain plugins out there that will help you speed it up. And then there are certain plugins out there that may help you a little bit, but don't help you as much as the other ones. So this is based on our tests. So that way you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Video number four, we'll talk about how you can speed it up by analyzing your web hosting setup. So like I said, some web hosting companies, have set up the servers to handle uh, regular sites that are not WordPress. And then some are WordPress only. And we'll talk more about that in just a second. Video number five is when we start to talk about the hacks. So video five, six, and seven will be hack one, two, and three. So hack number one is all about this. So if you think about when somebody comes to your website after they look at the speed and everything is fast loading on all that they think about, okay, I'm searching for something specific. They might find it, but then they're going to look more for that. So in other words, they search for X, Y, Z, they want more of X, Y, Z, right? So how can you make it so that it's going to be easier for them to find that information such as related posts? What kind of plugins can you use to help you with that? So because we've tested things out over the years, we figured out which plugins 
work well the best in these cases. And of course, when we move on to video number six, which is hack number two, we'll talk about getting more people engaged in the comments area. So after they like your content, then the next step after that is they're going to want to comment and engage with you. Now, if they don't see a lot of people engaging with you, they might not actually enter anything in there. So you want to make sure that it's not just user friendly, but it's fun. So we'll show you plugins that you can use for that as well. And of course, video number seven, we'll talk about the last hack, which is hack number three, and that is getting people to interact with your website. Now, although we're talking about interaction as a whole, uh, this covers mainly uh, getting pieces of areas of your website, such as polls, such as maybe ads, such as forums or forums, such as little areas of your website that you can still get them to interact. You can actually think of these as mini transactions to get them closer to liking and knowing and trusting you. All right. So that would be the next step after the comments. So these three areas are actually very often overlooked, but they're very, very important to getting people closer to wanting to subscribe onto your email list. So after this, of course, we move on to video number eight. And by this point in time of the sequence and of the phase, people are now aware of you. They are aware of what you have to offer and they want to know more. Maybe they want to buy from you or they just want to take that relationship further. So in video number eight, we'll talk about how to turn your visitors and get them to turn into subscribers and ultimately build your email marketing list. So the email marketing list is the asset that you want to have at the end of the day. The blog is important as well, but the email marketing list is extremely important because that is what is going to help you make more money in the long run. All right. So with that said, let's move on to video number two.